now that you've done all your planning, it's time to begin the first steps of designing a website. This, my friend, is the moment you've been waiting for. Today, you'll create paper and digital website wireframes. First, you'll start by sketching a simple wireframe or an outline of the basic layout of your website on paper. Just like architects use blueprints to plan the structure and layout of a house, your wireframe is the blueprint for your website, helping you plan the layout and content before you start adding any styles or making it fancy. But wait, this is a digital class. Why do we start out on paper? That's so you can quickly sketch your wireframe and immediately know whether you want to move forward with an idea or take it back to the drawing board. Using your paper wireframe as a blueprint, next you'll harness the power of Adobe XD to transform those drawings into a digital wireframe with basic shapes and clean lines. Over the next few lessons, you'll gradually add details like colors, typography, and images to this wireframe until your design idea comes to life as a high-fidelity, realistic design comp. So go forth, sketch quickly, and embrace the unlimited power of wireframes. <laughs> uh, now let's open XD and learn how to convert those paper wireframes into digital ones. Find and click your project file. Your artboard will open in the XD workspace. First, make sure your Layers panel is visible to the right of your toolbar. You might need to click the Layers button in the bottom left corner of the toolbar to open the Layers panel. Zoom your artboard to fit the screen by pressing the Control and Zero keys on Windows or the Command and Zero keys on Mac. To import your paper wireframe image on Mac, go to the main menu at the top of the screen then click the File drop-down menu. On Windows, you'll click the collapsed menu icon in the top left corner of the screen. On both Windows and Mac, you'll select Import from the menu that appears. Select your wireframe photo, then click the Import button. Your wireframe image will appear on your XD artboard. To align and resize your wireframe image, click the Select Tool button at the top of the left toolbar. Then click the wireframe and drag it to the top left corner of your artboard so the artboard corner and the image corner align. Next, resize your image to fit the entire artboard by clicking the white circle in the bottom right corner of your image, then dragging down and to the right. Your image will resize while automatically maintaining its original proportions. Keep moving, resizing, and aligning your image until the top corners of the image align with the top corners of the artboard. You may need to zoom in or out to get a better view. Once everything's properly aligned, if your image is cut off at the bottom of the artboard, you can extend the size of your artboard to view the rest of the page. Go to your Layers panel and click your Artboard layer. If you don't see your Artboard layer, you may need to jump up a level by clicking the back arrow in the top left of your Layers panel, then clicking the Artboard layer. Make sure the scrolling drop-down menu is set to Vertical in the Property Inspector panel. Then click the white circle in the bottom center of your Artboard and drag it down to extend the Artboard to the bottom edge of your wireframe image. The dotted line indicates the part of the website where you need to scroll down to view the rest of your page. Click your wireframe image and lower the opacity to 50% in the Property Inspector panel. Mouse over the name of the wireframe layer in your Layers panel. Click the lock icon to the right of the layer name to lock the layer from further changes. Build your wireframe by selecting the Rectangle Tool, Ellipse Tool, Line Tool, or Text Tool from the toolbar. Click and drag on the artboard to add the shape, line, or text. I'll start with a rectangle right here. By default, shapes are white with a gray border. Remember, wireframes are low fidelity, so you'll add other colors later. Then I'll add some text here.
Keep adding shapes, text, and lines until you've created a placeholder for every part of your wireframe. You can copy shapes by pressing Command and C on Mac or Control and C on Windows. Then paste shapes by pressing Command and V on Mac or Control and V on Windows. All your shapes, text, and lines will automatically appear in their own layers in the Layers panel as you create them. You can click a layer in the Layers panel, then drag it up to bring it into the foreground, or down to send it into the background. When you've added all your placeholders, go to the Layers panel, find and click the Wireframe Photo layer, then click the eyeball icon to the far right of the layer name to hide your photo layer. Voila! Now, save your work by pressing the Control and S keys on Windows or the Command and S keys on Mac. That's all there is to converting paper wireframes to digital ones in XD. Now you're ready to start creating your very own.